Hello viewers, how are you? In the previous video, I had shown you how we can construct a light board out of plexiglass, which is basically acrylic and making use of some other elements. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up our permanent professional looking light board with the help of actual glass, which again is not that costly and you can set up the entire thing well within your budget. So let me show you in this step by step process how we can construct our own light board. So stay tuned. So viewers, as you can see, this is an actual glass board that I have procured from a local glass shop. You can see it clearly over here that its thickness is obviously more than what I use for the acrylic sheet. Its thickness is around 10 mm or you can say one centimeter thick. Okay. What I have done is I have gone for a one centimeter thick glass of the same dimensions that is 24 inches by 36 inches. 24 inches in height and 36 inches in width okay so this is how it looks I have also uh, gone for a mild steel stand over here or you can say a frame with holes drilled so this is how the glass board looks like and it's pretty cool as compared to the acrylic one because now it's got a permanent stand it's stable and in terms of stability obviously it will help us whenever we write or draw something on the glass board so this is how it looks I'm going to now put LED strips on top of it let me show you how the LED strips look like these are my LED strips okay so if I just put it in the socket and show you how it looks you can see this is how it glows prefer a white LED strip this is of length 5 meters I'm only going to require 3 or 4 meters maximum Okay, but uh, usually you don't get it for uh, loose, you will either get it 1mm or 5mm in terms of length. So I went for this 5mm one and I'm going to use it. If any extra piece is left, I will use it to put light on my face only. Okay, so let's begin this process. So finally after covering up the entire periphery of the glass board with LED strips, it is now officially a light board. And set up against a dark background, it actually accentuates the entire look and feel of the light board. So this is how it looks permanently placed on top of a table and secured in position with the use of the G clamps I had used earlier. So this is how it looks and what are we waiting for? Let me get on the other side of it and show you how it exactly looks and feels. Okay, stay tuned. So hello friends, this is Shredar here. As promised, let me show you how the light board looks from behind the glass. Okay, so let me write something on the board first. And as a small tip, what you can do is whenever you are starting to write something on the light board, First, set up your camera properly. Right now, I'm having my mobile phone set up on a tripod. And what, uh, once you are behind the glass, just point out some areas to check whether they are visible in your tripod or not. If they are visible properly, then th these will be basically your reference markers inside which, within which you have to write. You can't go beyond them, right? So, 
you can do something like that. So let me start with this Lightboard 2.0. This Lightboard basically will be a lot more illuminated as compared to the one you saw previously. The only difference being the acrylic setup and the glass setup. Acrylic which I used was 6 mm in thickness and glass which I have used is 10 mm in thickness. Obviously glass will be having better property towards light as compared to acrylic. That's why the total internal reflection of light is happening prominently in this case of a glass. Whereas it was not that prominent as compared to glass in the case of acrylic. Okay. So what exactly is different in this? This particular setup consists of first of all pure glass or you can say clear glass. Then it secondly consists of a wooden table as opposed to a plastic table which I had used previously. All this basically adds some extra sturdiness and support to your entire light board setup because right now I am using glass so it would be really difficult if I place this heavy glass on top of a plastic board because it will shake a lot. And third I have used the same G clamps which I had used earlier just to just to tighten the things up along with this board which I'm using or the table which I'm using. And finally, everything else remains the same. I have used a mild steel support. This is nothing but a frame. Okay, this particular frame is used to make the glass sturdy and stand on top of a table. Okay, this is a frame. So as you can see, these are the only different things which I have used in this particular light board as compared to the one which I had used earlier. So if you want to design your own light board, if you want to construct your own light board at home, do feel free to contact me. I would definitely answer and I would definitely interact with you and let you know how to build your own light board, your tabletop light board at home. So if you like this video, do give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned. God bless you.